morning, everyone, and welcome to Tea Time. I was just browsing the internet, forgetting, forgetting my build order. Um, I was checking the internet for something important, but then I had Reddit notifications, and I had emails, and, and I forgot them all. That's one of those things. It's 8.30 a.m. I was actually ready to go at 8.23 a.m., but there we go, seven minutes, gone. Uh, not really gone, because I would have to respond to those emails and check Reddit and all that stuff anyway, but I completely forgot the original reason why I was looking up. I think it was the Red Bull schedule. I think I wanted to see the Red Bull schedule if people wanted to know. If I could reasonably ask my dad, hey, do you want to watch this StarCraft tournament with me today? One of those weird things because he's never watched Starcraft in his life so and it's really really important to me and I really really care about it so it's this loaded thing like if I ask him hey you want some Starcraft he says no all of a sudden maybe he feels like oh wow I'm really upset or let you know Tom down as he's my father so he doesn't call me Jack um but yeah so today I think um one of the interesting things, uh, one of the many interesting things that I want to talk about is that the idea that progress is not linear and the, the frustrations that you can avoid if you know that. So, you know, in, in any skill, in any, any sort of anything at all, if you think about progress not being linear but like a wavy line that slowly goes up over time or maybe a zigzaggy type of line, however you want to slice it. Um, it appears all over the place. It appears everywhere, you know. Um, I've been trying to, I wrote this song. Uh, I, I wrote a melody, basically. I just like, I, this thing was inside me and I sang it out and there it was. And I was like, oh cool, I like that, you know. I like that melody, it's good. I, I wanna, you know, write a song based on that melody. And I tried to find the chords to it, which are normally an easy thing. You know, there's about six chords that you could use per song. That's about it, you know, and there are variations. So, you know, short music theory, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and six. You really don't use the seventh chord because it's a diminished chord. And you don't really play those on guitar very much. For the most part, you have, you know, just your basic major and minor chords, and there's six of them, and you, and you choose them. And I was going to um, try to figure out what chords to play with the melody. The melody come, came first in that case. Sometimes I play the chords and the melody comes. But this time the melody came first and I couldn't figure it out. And the reason why I couldn't figure it out, it took me a long, long time. And I would, I would get stuck and I'd be like, oh man, and I think I'd get it. I would get a couple of chords down and then I would be like, no, those are not the chords at all, because then when I get to this part, it, it, it doesn't work, you know, it doesn't work at all. I had to, like, break things down and get out the, the notebook and start analyzing the melody and, like, write it out and all this different stuff. It was very, like, oh, I think I got it, and then I don't, and maybe I got a little bit more, and then, oh, no, I don't. But I had it better than I did last time, and then, whew, and I just kept going through this whole process. I wrote that song... when I was still in college. So like five years ago, four or five years ago. Um, and yesterday, last night, I finally sang the whole song from the beginning to the end, lyrics on all there, without making a mistake. And it was like, ah, oh, yes, I finally have done it. Now I have to write lyrics for different verses because I only wrote one verse because I was just trying to sing the melody with the chord. The reason why I, I, um, I messed it up is because the, the melody changes key every single chorus that happens, the melody changes key. So I had to set it up in a way that it's still in my voice range through four key changes. And key changes are, um, like I was saying before, you have those six chords that belong to a song, and then those are the chords you use when you sing your song. And that's you know, 80, 90% of pop music, you know, maybe more. Um, a, a key change means 
you go from those six chords, you know, and you somehow change to another set of six chords, and that's a key. That's what a key is called. A key is seven notes, seven chords. But I say six because almost no one uses the seventh in like popular Western music. It's a weird chord type. Um, and so I finally, you know, I figured that out. And that was like a crest, you know, in the, in the thing. I was like, oh, yeah, I figured it out. It's a key change thing. And then I was like, oh, man, now I know that. And I'm, and I'm still singing it wrong. And I would just be like, and it felt like I was plateauing. It felt terrible. And the same thing happens in StarCraft all the time. It's all like, oh, I, I got PVZ figured out. I got it. I'm nailing it, like I'm winning, and then something comes along, and you're like, oh, God, and then that, that build that gives you a lot of trouble becomes popular, and you have to deal with it, and you come back up again, but it's not, it's not like this, right? It doesn't go just like a cross like this. You are going up, and that up going thing is your, is your emotional intelligence, your patience, your creativity, your game knowledge to some extent, but a lot of it is just your ability um, to remain calm and think around corners, you know, think in different ways. It's like, oh man, I'm having this trouble. Well, you can completely bypass it with a counterattack. Instead of saying, man, how do I beat this push? How do I beat this push? It's like, oh wait, if I counter, if I set up a counterattack at this time, he has to go back because I win the base race. And it's like, oh, whew. thinking around corners, you know, being creative, that kind of a thing. Um, but yeah, so when you're struggling and when you're, when you're, you know, in StarCraft or in anything, in, in, in music, dance, uh, martial arts, whatever it is, and, and you feel like you're plateauing, don't worry about it. You're just going, you know, you're hitting a trough, and you'll come back up, and it'll be up and down. But if you know, I, I think frustration works a lot in that way. Like, if you know something's coming, it's much easier to um, be immune to the frustration of it. If you know, like, oh, okay, well, this is coming, this is gonna be a problem, and it's gonna suck for a little bit, and then I'm gonna figure it out, and then it's gonna be fine. If you know that that's the process that you're going through, that's your path, then it's like, oh, okay, you know, that's what I'm doing, great. Hopefully that was in some way helpful for you. Uh, we'll find out if my dad is down to watch some StarCraft. Keep your fingers crossed. Catch you guys later.